What's up everyone, this video is going to be breaking down three guitar chord progressions that I think work really well in a lo-fi setting. So I'll show you exactly how I'm playing the demos, and then I'll explain the chords and the progressions so you can mix them up and use them yourself. If I've got people that like these chord progression tutorials, please do like the video and drop a comment down below just to let me know and I'll keep making them. But anyway, here is the first chord progression. tempo for all of these were 62 BPM. Uh, the key of this first progression was G flat major and I was solving around the G flat major pentatonic scale uh, with a little bit of G flat major scale blended in as well. So there's four different chords to this one and we're starting off with a D flat. So I'm playing the root on the ninth fret on the E string, 11th fret on the A string, mute in the D and then 10th fret on the G string. Sort of arpeggiating this and playing through the notes. So I'm playing the E A G A E A G A and having a bit of vibrato as well just on the fretboard like that. And then from there we go up to an E flat minor seven. So here we're playing the eleventh fret, the E flat on the E string, the thirteenth fret on the A string, mute in the D string. I'm playing the 11th fret on the G string as well. And then I'm also playing the 14th fret on the B string. And the way I'm playing this is playing the E and the G string together. Then the A string, B string, G string, and repeating. From there we're getting up to the G flat. So this one is a root on the 14th fret. If you want, you can play it down on the second fret as well. I'm playing it on the 14th fret, so that's 14 on the E string, uh, 16 on the A string, and then 15 on the G string, new and D string. And then from there, moving down to a B major 7. And for this one, I'm playing the 7th fret on the E string, 9th fret on the A string, new and the D, 8th fret on the G, and 11th fret on the B string. And picking progression wise, it's the same as the E flat major seven. And then that just loops around. Uh, as I said, it's G flat major for the scale or the G flat major pentatonic scale, which works really nicely over these chords. Uh, but yeah, it's just a nice little progression that I've used similar variations of in the past in different tracks. It's a nice sort of core to start the track off. So yeah, all around easy progression to make a track with. Uh, and it's a nice sounding, more interesting feel to it. So yeah, on to the second progression. So this next chord progression is a bit of a strange one. Uh, it's not one that came from theory. It's one that sort of came from just messing about with the guitar. So it's a little bit of a stretch to play this one. You can always use a capo and move it up the fret if you want it to be a little bit easier. But I'll just go through the position that I played it in. So the first chord is fifth fret on the E string, seventh fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D string. And it's effectively a, an A major seven without the third. So it's a one, five, seven voicing. 
And to explain the pick and progression for this, if you think the E string has one, A string is two, and D string has three, it goes one, two, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. And that pattern persists throughout the whole chord progression. So the way I'm actually playing this is I've got my pinky on the seventh fret on the A string, I've got my ring finger on the sixth fret on the D string, and then I'm playing uh, my first finger on the fifth fret on the E string. And the stretch comes in because we move the first finger from the fifth fret down to the second fret, but we're keeping the other two fingers the same. So if you've got small hands, I would recommend putting a capo on there somewhere and playing it further up the neck. But if you've got long enough fingers, then the stretch is doable. This time it's just second fret on the E string, and then uh, seventh fret on the A string, sixth fret on D string. And then just take your first finger off, play the open E. And put it back on second fret. And that's it, that loops round. Uh, and this one I was playing around with the C sharp minor scale. Um, worked pretty nicely, the C sharp minor pentatonic. Uh, but yeah, it's just one of those that I think having the sort of, I guess the pedal notes, as I talked about in last week's video, uh, producing a lo-fi beat. It's a sort of uh, A and D string playing constantly throughout. It gives it that sort of grounded feel and then you're just changing the bass note. I think that's a really great combo. So it's a good tool for writing songs in music production in general, having the sort of pedal notes and messing around with the bass notes. Works really well, gives it a sort of nice motion to it. But yeah, another great chord progression for making lo-fi beats with. And uh, yeah, on to the last progression. So this last one is nice and easy, just sort of letting the chords ring out. So we're starting off with one of my favourite major seven voicings. This is an A flat major seven. Got the root on the A flat, root in the A string, and then we're playing uh, sixth string on the D, five on G, four on the B, three on the uh, E. So the way I'm playing it is bass note, followed by the rest of the notes sort of strummed. And then that moves over to a G dominant seventh chord. So the way I'm playing that is third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, third fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, and three, three on the B and E. Same again, root and then let it strum. And from there just to a C minus seven voicing. I think I played it just barring the whole of the 8th fret, so it felt like a more natural movement from the dominant 7. But if you're doing that, just make sure you're not hitting the 8th uh, string, because that's not part of the minus 7. So I'm playing 8th fret, not playing the 8th string, and then 8th fret, 8th fret, 8th fret, 8th fret. Again, root and then letting it ring out. And then the final chord is an E flat dominant 7. So playing the root on the A string, the 6th fret on the A string, not playing the E, and then 8th fret on the D string, 6th fret on the G string, 8th fret on the B string, 6th fret on the E string. So that's it, just the four chords, the A flat major 7, G dominant 7, C minor 7, then the E flat dominant seven. So a little bit more of a jazzy chord progression. This one was in E flat major. So focusing around the E flat major pentatonic scale and the E flat major scale in general. 
or the relative minor being the C minor scale. Again, a little bit more of a jazzy progression, works well as a baseline chord progression for sort of more upbeat jazz hop sort of sounds. Um, but yeah, nice easy chord progression that's got some nice characters to it, some nice extended chords. So I think it's a really handy progression to have in your arsenal. But yeah, that is the last chord progression of the video. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in more of these chord, guitar chord progression videos. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.